We're going to pray in just a minute, but <clears throat> excuse me. I wanted to make sure that uh, all of you know that you are invited. Uh, Ellie will, wants to invite everybody to her graduation party next Saturday. Um, that's the 25th. Uh, it's an open house here at the church um, from uh, 2 to 5. So everybody is welcome. Everybody is invited. And she, uh, she's always excited about her church friends and all that. So uh, we're celebrating that with her and wanted to... Make sure that everybody, it's, it's an open invitation, so. <clears throat> As we begin to pray th- this morning, we want to continue to pray for those who are struggling physically and uh, just for, it seems like this time of the year, everybody gets really busy and really distracted and really just overwhelmed. And, you know, Jesus tells us, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And, you know, we need to pray for his help, that we carry his burden and that we're yoke mates with him. Let's, let's join together in prayer. Lord God, we do come to you and we thank you for the grace that you give. Lord, we thank you for the strength that you show us. We thank you, Lord, for the healing that is in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we pray for those who are sick among us. God, we, we have many on our mind and we ask God that you would just show yourself faithful Lord, that you would stretch out your healing hand like you did, Lord. Uh, Jesus, you're the one who makes the blind to see and the lame to walk. And Lord, the one who brings healing, the one who carried our sicknesses and the diseases on that cross. And so, Lord, we pray for your healing power for those who need it. God, we pray for those who need your, your touch, Lord, uh, for family issues, God, we ask that you would show yourself faithful there. Lord, for those uh, that might, ha- might be struggling with their job or with finances or anything like that, God, we ask that you would show yourself faithful. And Lord, ultimately, we pray that we would be able to focus on you. Lord, you would show us what's important in life and you would, you would draw our hearts towards you. We pray that as a church, we could be a place of peace and a place of light and a place of strength for those who need it. Lord, because your spirit's here and we just ask that you would, you would fill us and, and Lord, come meet with us. And we ask these things in the name of Jesus. And together we pray the prayer that he taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.